Hi, guess who's back? This is Amber Mellon. I know I have been gone for a long time. I have been seeing you ladies subscribe to my channel and people leaving comments. And I apologize. I'm so sorry that um, I have not responded or replied or put any videos up. Um, my first video, I don't know if anyone's watched it. It was an about me video and all my goals and aspirations personally and for YouTube. And I kind of just stopped the whole thing. Um, just, you know, last February, I think February was the last time I posted a video, and I was just, me and my husband, you know, we just had so much going on, and um, just problems here and there, and I was having a hard time trying to juggle all the personal stuff, things I need to do, work, and um, getting the YouTube videos up, because I have gotten a lot of great responses, and um, you know, a lot of my friends, shout out to you and shout out to my mom and ask me, Amber, when are you going to put more videos up there? You need to get back up on there and do your videos because people enjoy them. So I'm happy to hear that. Um, I do have to go to work in a little bit. So this video is going to be really quick. I just want to come to you, start the YouTube thing back off with, um, a wig review. Um, this wig that I'm wearing here, um, I got from wigtypes.com. And the name of this wig is called um, Superflow Biza Deep Lace Part um, by the Janet Collection. And here's what it looks like. Okay. And, um, of course, just like any other wig, it has uh, two cones on the side, one comb in the back. And it's supposed to have this deep shell, um, this deep L-shaped lace part here. So, um, I, the camera is not picking it up. But the as far as the lace color, it's not that you know realistic. So I did put some uh, powder and some concealer in the lace. The it's kind of hard to see it with the camera. This color that I have is um, in a color SC one two two three. That's the color I have. And so um, there was a young lady that did had ordered this wig, and she did re wig review on it, and the color was a lot different. The color was a brighter color. It was, it was like a dark root, and it was a really bright, nice blonde, which was really pretty. I didn't get that color. I actually um, got a little darker for the winter time. I'm not one to follow rules as far as go dark in the winter or lighter in the summer. I just do whatever I wanted to do. But I was like, well, let's try some darker colors for the um, fall. It's not completely dark because I do have to have some light in there because I feel like lighter colors bring out the warmth in my face better. But I got this color wig. Okay, so let's get to the most important parts um this wig straight out the pack um putting it on and cutting off the lace uh, without doing anything to it me personally from a scale of one to ten oh my gosh someone's calling me sorry about that um from this uh lace wig on a scale of one to ten i give this wig a five without doing just anything to it the wig was looks just like this picture, very straight and blunt, very long. This particular wig, um, it is very full, it is very thick, and very straight. So if you don't want to, if you want to get a wig and just put it on and go, maybe cut some length off and you're good, this is not the wig to get. Um, you know, I, I ordered this wig when I first put it on, I was like, oh my gosh, this wig is so thick, so straight. Um, it's 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 a yakky texture, but it's that yakky um, uh, textured African American feel to it. Um, it's soft. It's not you know hard or nothing. Um, hasn't tangled. This is the first day I've had it on. But I mean, you have to have some really sharp shears, and you got to start cutting away at it. So that's exactly what I did when I ordered a wig. You you know if it's something that I thought was going to work out, and when I put it on, I'm like, oh my gosh, you know, I make it work because I don't like spending the money on a wig, you know, that I can't use. That's why I do so much research on my wigs before I buy one. So, as far as this wig, um, this wig was super long. This wig came, like, all the way past my chest. It came down here. I'm 5'2", I'm short, so of course I cut it, but I mean, I cut a lot off of it. Like, when it was down here, and I cut it way up to here. When you cut this wig, it's already blunt. It's already really straight. So um, you're going to need to point cut it um, when you cut it. And that's just pointing it at a at an angle like this instead of horizontally. Um, I also put some, um, did some a little face framing in the front, as you can see with the layers right there, to give it some shape and to take all that weight out. So um, now, 
once you've cut it and shaped it the way you like i feel that this wig is very doable it's it's pretty cute like it's it's wearable um it's a nice like a everyday you know wig get up and go like i said it's very thick and full so <clears throat> you got to make sure you um <clears throat> do some shaping to it and so with the cutting it and the layering it um i give this wig a seven um I, I why i won't give it a complete like nine or ten is because of the the just the lace construction you know i've had better wigs that had uh better lace quality um it's kind of thick right in here you know but i mean it doesn't look too bad i'm still gonna work it so um if you like this wig this wig was like 20 something dollars um and the the um a web address is wigtypes.com um you can purchase this wig from here the shipping was really fast i got it within four days and this color if you like the color this color has blonde like kind of like i like the the way the colors are it has a little bit of blonde and has brown underneath so um you can see all the colors here hope my camera is picking it up good for you um like i said this is a nice simple everyday go to work wig but you are going to have to do some customizing you are going to have to do some layering you are going to have to do some you know fitting it to your face uh, the wig was like 20 something dollars so you know not too much of a you know not too deep in my pockets you know for a wig that went first coming right out the box wasn't looking right and I had to do some work on it um, this is what it looks like when the wig is all to the back so you see it's pretty long and because I bring everything to the front when I when I cut it the back kind of forms this nice V shape so um that's that's good so um you know hey if you like this wig um you know i told you where you can order it if you like it so you know amber glad to see you back on youtube girl i like the wig or no i don't like the wig you know and i'll update you tell you how it's doing so glad to be able to make this video be back on youtube i just want to give a shout out to all the ladies that subscribe to me and that said something nice and beautiful thank you so much i have to go to work in a little bit and um i did order another wig from fridaynighthair.com and um so i will be doing another wig review and i got something else to show you real quick hold on i got a new kitten his name is tiger he is five months old he's kind of like tiger at this stage right now he doesn't really like to be held too much he's kind of like a baby like he likes to play and whatever so his name is Tiger. Isn't he so adorable? I just love him. I got him when he was a baby. I got him when he, look at him. I got him when he was about seven weeks old and I bottle fed him. So, so he's my baby. I love him. But, um, bye ladies. So glad to be back on YouTube. Can't wait to see you again. I uh, love you. And until next time, bye.